Girl who died after contracting a brain eating amoeba at the Whitewater Center is now suing. The girl's family filing the lawsuit against the center today exactly one year after their daughter's death. NBC Charlotte Savannah Levins was able to obtain that lawsuit and joins us live now from the Whitewater Center. Savannah, what can you tell us? So this 17 page lawsuit claims that the Whitewater Center knowingly failed to properly treat the water here. It states that that directly led to the death of 18 year old Lauren Seitz exactly one year ago today. She was an incredible person, so full of life. 18 year old Lauren Seitz was visiting the Whitewater Center from Ohio with a church group. She fell into the water and contracted a rare brain eating amoeba through her nose which killed her after only 11 days. I don't know what kind of maintenance schedule they'd had or what kind of filtration they were doing. County health officials were forced under the spotlight to examine the center's filtration process. We haven't heard anything from the Whitewater Center at all. I have not seen the logs of their use of the of the system. Implementing several changes and routine inspections that were not in place before. There's work to be done on the part of the county. Now one year after Lauren's death, her family has filed a lawsuit against the Whitewater Center. It claims the center is directly responsible for her death because staff failed to properly chlorinate the water, regulate the water temperature, and warn visitors of the potential presence and dangers of the amoeba. It also states the chlorine level in the water was 10 times lower than what's required at swimming pools. Whitewater Center officials have not publicly responded to the lawsuit yet, but after Lauren's death last year, they told us their filtration system uses ultraviolet radiation, filtration, and chlorine, and the levels of UV radiation would inactivate the amoeba 99.99% of the time. So in this lawsuit document, it states that the monetary claim will be determined later in court, but it will be more than $75,000. Reporting live from the Whitewater Center, I'm Savannah Levins for